Hello everybody, welcome back to Sprocket, my name is Will, and today we're going to be building something unfathomably wacky. We're going to be building a design which I, for the first time, I'm sure other people have heard of it before, but I had never heard of it before, uh, kind of Ark made a video on this tank. It's from Panzer Front 2, a really old tank game. Uh, which looks pretty cool, but I've never played it. Um, and this thing is wild. It's got a French name, it's got German design cues, and it's got, most importantly, two massive jet engines in the back, uh, which is just not practical for a tank. If you're thinking of becoming a tank designer in the future, don't put two jet engines in the back, at least if they're going to be doing jet engine things, uh, I guess you could consider in a way you could have a jet engine which powers the sprocket but you know, that we're talking we're talking literally having a jet exhaust out of the back of the tank to power it forward like that that kind of craziness that is what we're talking about here we're not talking about turbine engines or whatever you know no none like this is sillier than that a lot sillier than that a lot louder than that a lot stupider than that and i thought I could build that in Sprocket because if I place guns backwards and then file it at the loaders to have a ridiculous amount of space, so this thing isn't going to be within the rules of the game, but blah, 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 you know what I mean. Uh, who cares? We're just fighting AI uh, and it doesn't add anything to the tank. I'm going to level with you. You'll see in a minute. But yeah, uh, jet engines, basically, they don't really speed up the tank. So I've just made the tank really fast in order to counter that. Um, and... The only thing they really do is make a lot of noise and a lot of particle effects that like drop my frame rate by like 20 frames a second whenever I use them. But they are fun and that is the most important thing. It's fun and that is the best thing I could say about this tank probably. Um, <laughs> other than that, other than the jet engine thing, it's basically just a flat Yag Panther. It's, it's like if you took a Yag Panther and bonk right on the head. You know, it, it it's it's a fairly traditional ish shape for a german tank just just kind of with a couple of weird quirks um and then with a french name for some reason i've not called it that i've stuck with my weird number naming scheme which mostly just helps me find them in the list <laughs> if you're wondering why the names are always so boring I, i've got a lot of tanks in this faction maybe i should start a new faction at some point but you know uh, uh, nah, who cares um uh, wow, what what was I talking about? I don't even know. Um, we're pretty much done with the build now, actually. I've ba babbled on for so long about jet engines in tanks that I've completely lost track of time and the build is nearly over. Um, but yeah, if you want to see the video that I got inspired to build this from, uh, then I will link that in the description, which will be on Code of Arc's channel, so blah, 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 blah. Uh, and we'll hop straight to uh, the gameplay in a second. But uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this thing really is ridiculous and you do get a little glimpse of how I build the jet engines here but they're mostly just file editing which I hope to release a tutorial on that very shortly um so keep your eye out on the shorts tab for that that's probably where it's going to be initially at very least uh maybe there'll be a full video of it later but yeah we'll see Okay, and here we have our ridiculous little jet tank. Yes, it goes really, really quickly. And it has very, very good frontal armor, about 400 millimeters of effective everywhere, and a pretty quick reloading 88 millimeter gun. And it's a long 88, so, uh, I mean, it's not the most penetration in the world, but you've got about uh, 201 with your AP. So, enough for most targets. Um, and it's definitely going to be able to exploit weak spots on most if no uh, if or if not all enemy tanks uh but obviously the the thing you want to see let's level with ourselves here are the jet engines right and here they are <laughs> in all of their glory they're really loud from the front and very quiet from the back and if you come at this angle it almost sounds like a jet engine uh, but yeah <laughs> Sorry, I really don't know what came over me there. Um, anyway, yeah, here we are on fields, and we have four of these things, which should be enough to deal with this level with very little difficulty, mostly because of our very thick armor, and also because we got the coolest jet engines in the world, bro. 
Um, and it's... Hang on. Let me actually turn them on. It, you kind of have to be stationary and you have to aim very precisely. There we go. Oh, I've accidentally swapped fire group one. There we go. Um, <clears throat> just for fun, you know? Just for fun. And occasionally shooting my allies behind me. It's fine. It'll never penetrate. And just arriving over the top of the hill now here to find our seven enemy light tanks. Hopefully nothing we're going to struggle with too much. The numbers could be an issue. Our side armor is really, really bad. It's only about 35 millimeters thick, but, you know, loads of frontal armor. So long as they don't get alongside, which hopefully they shouldn't, should be okay. I hope you don't hear the cat. She is absolutely screaming right now. Uh, and now she's on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> You're really, really helping, Tabitha, I must say. Uh, oh, goodness me, this isn't good. They've got behind me. Okay, uh, turn, 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 turn. Oh, God, our turning circle isn't the best. Oh, that's a really embarrassing miss there. Just, please, I need you both on the same side of me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, please tell me that's not the main gun. Please tell me that's not the main gun. It wasn't the main gun. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we have been saved a little bit here. Oh, that's not good. Our track's gone. Let's... Uh, come on, face him. Hello, you have very aggressive brakes, my good sir. Uh, oh, no, I'm shooting right through him. Hang on. Uh, this shouldn't go through him. There we go. And let's swap to someone who's less damaged. There we go. Look, and I was always driving this tank, and you can't prove otherwise. Okay, let's see what heavy tanks we have this time. Hopefully... I'm, hope I'm hoping Tiger 1s, but based on the number of them, I think it may well be Panthers. <laughs> eh, they shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. Oh, it's Togs! Okay, sure. Pow! Oh, that's, that's a crying shame right there. We'll try again. That's more like it. That's more like it. And there's one down there. There goes a second. One all the way in the distance. We'll throw one... Oh, that's way too far. That's way too far. I'm still not the best <laughs> at long range in this game. That's for damn sure. Uh, there, maybe? Ah, yeah, there we go. That was the one. Um, there's... Oh, gosh, they really are just lining up to be killed here. There goes another one. Two left. One's up on that hill there. I just saw a glimpse of the top of their turret. You can't... Oh, they're both up there. You can't hide from me. Come on, show yourselves. Your cover's blown. You're not getting a flanking maneuver on today. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I think I actually hit the mountain. It looked like I hit the tog, but... Uh, oh. Come on. <laughs> Let's do this, 88. Oh. Oh. Oh, bleed neck. Come on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Eventually. Eventually we got there. That was just really embarrassing up until that point. And there we go. Oh, fantastic. Well, this wasn't too difficult at all. Let's see how we do in the late war levels. Tiger, the one that everybody loses on. Yep, uh, this level normally causes us quite a lot of problems. But in theory, and I'm just going to load the AP here. Uh, in theory, we shouldn't struggle too much. We can go through the front of a Tiger 2. We can go through the weak spot of an IS-122. We have lots of armor that's going to be able to bounce anything that faces us. Uh, and so long as we don't get flanked, we're going to be all good to win this, I think. Um, that is... Oh, a Centurion. That shouldn't be too difficult of a kill. Uh, however, I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to hit him through the trees, which is why I'm going for the ones in the background first. That's a Lawmaker. That's another Lawmaker. Uh, not a Centurion. That's not quite killed him. I'm going to load the APHE, finish off that Lawmaker first. The Centurion's coming out from behind the tree. But once again, not wanting to really waste any shots here. The more kill shots I can get, the better. That I've shot the ground. I've wasted a shot. <laughs> what did I just say? Um, oh, goodness me. I don't even know where that hit. Must have been a tree of some variety, but I didn't see it. Um... Lower plate, maybe, on the Centurion? Oh, if we had AP, I think it would go through there. Um, try again. Pow! Yeah, there we go. And there's a second Centurion giving me his side armor, which is very nice of him. I'll take that. And two enemies remain. 
lawmaker just killed an ally, which is concerning. Makes me think, yeah, they're flanking, which they are. I see them. Stop that. Stop that little lawmaker. Oh my god, so is the centurion. And that means I don't need to worry about anything else behind me. Can I shoot through the gap between those trees? No. Uh, what about shooting him in his engine? Yeah, that's done the job. Okay, well, let's load the APHE. Just finish him off with a shot to the side here. Come on. <laughs> let's just load the AP again and close the distance a bit. Wow, I really sank into the ground there, didn't I? Uh, hello, bud. Nothing personal. Uh, right, anyway, defense now. <laughs> <laughs> defense time. Okie dokie, defense. Now, I'm not sure if the AI can actually use this tank properly. Um, I'm hoping they can, but if they can't, that could mean this level is a little bit tricky because we're going to have to kill all seven enemies ourselves. And depending on what those enemies are, that could be difficult. If they're lawmakers, they're very hard to penetrate from the side with APHE, which means one shot's not really on the cards. Blah, blah, blah. All of that. Um, so, yeah. Things, things in consideration. That, that's the list, basically. Um, let us try and start getting some kills on the board. That's a bad start. That's a really bad start. Oh, goodness me. I'm hitting the angled front of that turret. But they are just pretty easy to kill, these spatters. Um, and they now have two guns rather than one, because I think they're meant to be anti-airs, which is interesting. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. Oh, goodness me. I'm, I I've am i lost all my aiming abilities. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Right. Taken out of track. Taken out of Centurion. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And there are so so many enemy tanks making a break for the border on the other side of the map. Come on. Stop that right now, little spatter. And you've killed one of my allies. That's really rude, actually. That's really, really rude. And I'm going to kill all of your allies as a retaliation because you killed one. And that means it's fair and just. Uh, and also, not a war crime. Pow! There we go. And... If that centurion just gives me a little bit more side. There we go. We got him as well. Well, uh, frankly, this may be one of the most effective tanks I've built in a very long time. And uh, I know we've not really used the jet engines very much. Frankly, they're not very useful. But if you have an idea of how to make them useful, feel free to download this tank. It will be in the tank repository channel of my Discord, linked in the description. Uh, down there as well will be a link to Kernavark's video on this tank, a link to the official Sprocket Discord, and also their Steam page, and my Patreon, if you want to support me on there. Those are all of the plugs out of the way, uh, and if you have enjoyed this video, I really hope you would consider leaving it a like, a comment, and or subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the future for more ridiculous things like this. Goodbye! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons Badger, Caligo, Drake, Camgem135, Cody N, DJ Pete, Gavoon, Gunmaster99, Sad Cat, Jasper Boy, Yoki003, Just Casualty 621, Last Legend 11, Mark, Mardly Investor, Nicholas K, Roll Souls Bokken, Ryan Brody, The Kinesian Ember, Tree Loving Mango, Zerashine, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.